everybody and welcome to this amazing game of Magic Duels. Origins, I think it's called Origins. I, well, let's just say I'm very hyped to play this game as it just released to the mobile device. Uh, link in the description below if you want to pick yourself up a free copy of this game. It is free for everybody and will be released on Steam very shortly. Uh, so here I am, I'm going to give you guys a look at this beautiful game that I haven't even gotten to start with. So we're going to start with the uh, story mode. Um, so skill quest, the basics. Learn the basics of magic, prepare your adventures ahead to unlock story mode where you will uncover the origins of powerful planeswalkers. Fantastic, so I get 30 gold if I win. Let's play the skill quest. All right, your training begins. Learn the basics of magic duels in this fun and rewarding skill quest. That is a uh, hell of a training robot, I'm not going to lie. Um, Pretty good, looking so far. Alright, continue. Training drone versus tide time. That's right, sucker. You can't- oh my Welcome god. Welcome to Magic Duels. Well, hi! You are a planeswalker. Oh my. A powerful mage, dueling across the myriad worlds of the multiverse. The multiverse. I am tide time of the multiverse. Of one universe, then a multiverse. Of mu multiple universes. Oh, Your blurry. story Holy shit. starts okay. with these skill quests. Challenges designed to hone your skills and prepare you for combat. If you'd like to replay a skill quest, you can do so from the Help and Options menu. Ooh. This game's looking Each good. player starts with a shuffled deck of cards called a library. Your oh, library okay. contains the creatures and other spells you'll need to defeat your foe. I mean, okay, so pretty much this seems like the exact same Magic the Gathering I'm used to. And so, uh, we're gonna go ahead and look at this really quick. Each turn, you draw a card from your library into your hand. Only you can see the cards in your hand. Ooh, well, some of it's pretty obvious. You win the game by reducing your opponent's life total from 20 to zero. All right. Zoom in on any card by moving the cursor over it and scrolling the mouse while zoomed in on a card. You can learn more about its abilities in the more info box on the right. Okay. Zoom out by scrolling the mouse wheel down to complete this skill quest. That's pretty easy. Uh, so I already know a lot of this being I, I have played Magic the Gathering, but flying is pretty much creatures that cannot be blocked unless the other creature blocking has fly or reach. First strike means this de the combat damage dealt is done before normal combat. Um, vigilance is they don't tap, which means they, they can block. It's a whole bunch of awesome. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of awesome. Good job. You can zoom in on cards anywhere to learn more about them. Okay. That was an easy skill quest. I mean, they're, they're teaching me the game, which is pretty cool. I mean, this looks amazing. In this skill quest, okay. you'll learn how to attack with your creatures to reduce your opponent's life total. A creature deals damage equal to its power, the first number in the lower right corner. When a creature attacks, it becomes tapped or turned sideways. This shows it's been used for the turn. Your tapped cards will untap at the start of your turn. All right, so it's pretty basic. If to you guys- To complete this skill quest, finish off your opponent this turn. Oh my, I like, I don't know how to- For each creature you want to attack oh. with, click and drag it to your opponent. Oh. You can attack with all your creatures by clicking attack with all. Where's attack After with all? After you've chosen which creatures oh. to attack with, click confirm attack. Okay, so as we're learning this, guys, you're actually learning to play Magic the Gathering. So if you don't know how to play Magic the Gathering, this is the best tool to learn, As you, other than you won't have attack with all. Essentially, in real life, you would say, I am attacking with these creatures, and you tap them, and tapping them means you turn them to the side, and they look like that. Uh, so confirm the attack. Animations and all. all right. Excellent. Attacking with your creatures is one of the surest ways to win. In the next skill quest, you'll learn how to defend yourself from your opponent's attacks. It seems like this is all pretty, like, 
it's Magic the Gathering, and it's free. Like, that's the unbelievable part, because I remember playing Magic the Gathering 2014, 2013. Your it, untapped creatures can block your opponent's attacking creatures. A blocked creature won't deal damage to you. Instead, it will deal damage to the creature that blocked it, and your creature will deal damage to the attacking creature. A creature is destroyed if it's dealt damage in a single turn equal to its toughness, the second number in the lower right corner. So if you guys are familiar with Hearthstone, this game plays a little different, where HP is not a thing, it's just toughness. And in order to kill a creature, you have to deal all of its toughness in one turn. You can't end a turn and it, like, remain at that toughness. To complete this skill quest, survive your opponent's turn, and then win the game. Alright, and then win the game. I got it. Okay, choosing his attack. Pretty simple. To block an incoming attack, click and drag one of your creatures to the attacking creature you want to block. Once you've selected all the creatures you want to block... So, a tapped creature cannot block. And so he's dead. So being that both of his creatures are now tapped, Great job. I can attack. By blocking the more dangerous creature. I kind of figured out how to play. You now place attack it down. And win the game. All right, I've got this. This is just like my, this is exact. This is Magic the Gathering. That's what this is. There we are. Excellent. Remember, only untapped creatures can block. Now that you've seen creatures attacking and blocking. Let's find out how to summon them to the battlefield. Looks like we're gonna learn to play Magic the Gathering, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm actually having a lot of fun experiencing this, because this is amazing, and if you really want to get into this, jump in. It, to cast uh, a spell, you need mana, the magical energy produced by your lands. Each of your lands produces one mana when it taps or turns sideways. Tapping shows a card's been used for the turn, to see a spell's mana cost, look in the top right corner of the card. For example, Elvish Warrior's mana cost is two green mana. Super to cast easy. Lightning Elemental, you need one red mana. Your mountain produces that. You also need three other mana of any kind. Any lands can be tapped to produce this three mana. After you cast a creature spell, that creature goes to the battlefield. Creatures can't attack on the turn they're summoned. This is called summoning sickness, and it's indicated by a swirling effect. A creature with summoning sickness can still block incoming attacks. A few creatures have an ability called haste. Creatures with haste aren't affected by summoning sickness. In this skill quest, We'll start on your opponent's turn. To complete it, win the game on your next turn. Ooh. Your Elvish Warrior can't block this turn because it's tapped. Alright, so you can actually skip the animations too, which is even great. And this is the, you can uh... can summon creatures to the battlefield from your hand by casting creature spells. To cast a spell in your hand... Alright, so this is the, um, the, the bar that shows you what part of your turn you're on. Uh, this is the, uh, beginning phase after you untap, draw, and then perform your upkeep. Now I can just play, which I want... To play that, which taps all my mana. Creatures with haste. Okay, so pretty much it's just letting me know haste allows it to attack again. I don't need to see that. Um, so pretty much, now what happens is because he summoned this monster, it can still block, it just cannot attack on the first turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and you cannot choose to attack a creature, you actually can only choose to attack. And he chooses who is blocked. So here's the blocking phase, and he chose to block the 4 1. And it's as simple as that. I mean. Ooh, good, cool effects. Well done. 
all your tapped cards, including lands and creatures. I'll untap on the next phase. I got it. I don't. You're so slow. For completing this skill quest, you've earned some coins. After you finish Gideon's campaign, you can spend coins in the store to purchase booster packs containing new cards for your collection. All right, and being that that was all just kind of learning the game, I think I'm going to end the video here and begin my next video in, uh, I forgot his name already. I'm looking at it, and I would butcher it even though she just said it. Gideon? Gideon, I want to say his name is? And I believe he's the white deck. That's Jace for blue, Chandra for red, and I don't know the other ones for the other colors, but I'm assuming this is black and green. Uh... Where's white? Oh, he's white. Duh. So white, blue, black, red, green. And so that'll be it for this, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all learned a great deal about this game already and how it's going to be played because we're going right into this. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And check it out for yourself on the mobile device. I will link the Steam edition as soon as it does release. Um, I don't know the exact time. But it's coming out shortly, and I will have links to that if you guys want to join me. Like I said, it's 100% free to play. Uh, of course, booster packs. It's like the same as Hearthstone. Come on, cut me some slack. <laughs> and as always, good game.